This is a precious image of Li Hongzhong, an important minister of the last Chinese dynasty, the Qing dynasty, visiting Europe and the United States in 1896. China is an ancient civilization with a history of thousands of years and has created a splendid civilization in history. However, with the outbreak of the Industrial Revolution, China gradually fell behind the West, suffered repeated defeats in foreign wars, ceded territory and paid reparations, lost power and humiliated the country. In order to catch up with the West, the Qing government began a reform campaign called the Westernization Movement in the 1860s. At the same time, China's little brother Japan also carried out the Meiji Restoration Movement. Thirty years later, in 1894, the two countries went to war at sea, and China was defeated. Signed the humiliating Treaty of Shimonoseki, ceded Taiwan and Penghu Islands, and paid silver 200 million tail, the unfortunately Hong Zhang was also shot in the negotiation process, the bullet grazed the left face, after returning to China, the Empress Dowager Cixi put the responsibility for the defeat on him, dismissed him and sent him back to his hometown, but the 70s Li Hongzhong is still not old, always ready to return, because he was well aware of his importance to the court, and, sure enough, not long after, the court gave him an important task, representing the Qing dynasty, to go to Russia. Attending the coronation ceremony of Russian Emperor Nicholas II, and visiting European and American countries to demonstrate the etiquette of the Qing dynasty, in April 1896, Li Hongzhong took a group of people to Europe and the United States, after a month at sea, arrived in St. Petersburg, and began business, Li Hongzhong did not stay in Russia for a long time, signed the Sino-Russian secret treaty and went to Germany by train. Retired Bismarck, the two sides bowed deeply to each other, began the commercial exchange, under the arrangement of Kaiser Wilhelm II, the Qing delegation to visit the German drill, Li Hongzhong witnessed the power of the German gun barrel cannon, and even stock-stocked a batch of goods for the Qing army, and the most shocked him is the German advanced medical technology, when through the X-ray, when he saw the remains of the bullet on his left cheekbone, Lao Li could not resist the continuous praise, which also made Li Hongzhong become the first Chinese to use X-ray, when the Qing delegation arrived in Paris, during the French National Day, naturally will not miss the grand military parade, the original Parisians are looking forward to, this group of people who have not seen the world will be shocked by the grand ceremony. It was so dumbstruck that the expression of Li Hongzhong and his entourage was flat as water, after all, in terms of pomp, the Qing court honor guard could be much more lively, Lao Li even dozed off in the noisy drums, until the honor guard infantry passed by to wake him up, no wonder the French media reported that Li Hongzhong always with three points of ridicule, three points of thin cool, the Eiffel Tower, completed in 1889, is naturally the face of the French, and it has been spread before. That Li Hongzhong refused to climb the Eiffel Tower, in fact, Li Hongzhong not only visited the tower machine room, but also took the elevator to the 95-meter-high restaurant for lunch, perhaps a recurrence of fear of heights, or was shocked by this giant building and strange sky restaurant. Lao Li seemed a little distracted, did not move chopsticks during the meal, and after experiencing 20 days of democracy in France, Li Hongzhong rushed to Britain because there was still an important task waiting for him, since the First Opium War, the Qing dynasty had lost its tariff autonomy to the United Kingdom, and if it wanted to raise tariffs, it would have to pass the British agreement, coupled with the huge indemnity from the Treaty of Shimonoseki, if it did not take some benefits to subsidize the national finance, it would face a situation where it would not be able to make money. Therefore, Li Hongzhong also had a key performance indicator on this trip. That is, the original 5% tariff on Britain was raised to 10%, and during his visit to Germany and Russia, the tariff proposal was easily passed, so Li Hongzhong was full of confidence at this time.
don't look at these British gentlemen to receive the mission with the highest standards of etiquette, but talk about the serious national interests cannot be vague. After the meeting, the people came to Portsmouth Port, Li Hongzhong looked at the heroic British Royal Navy, the warships in order majestic solemn, let him very discouraged, the Beiyang naval forces that he had made great efforts to cultivate and the proud Eastern fleet were nothing compared with them. This trip to Europe for more than a month allowed Lao Li to see with his own eyes that these Western countries had far more advanced technology, more developed industry and stronger armaments than the Qing dynasty. Li Hongzhong's long journey took half a year. After a long period of sea drifting and inacclimation, as well as high-frequency diplomatic activities, he was physically and mentally tired, watching the St. Louis cruise ship slowly enter the port of New York, the figure on the shore was clearly visible, Li Hongzhong took heart, as 19 salute sounded one after another, Li Hongzhong was slowly carried off the ship in a wheelchair, the shore cheered constantly, and New York citizens who had already surrounded the dock were already full of cheers. All are curious about this mysterious oriental old man, in the reception, the United States came up with the highest sincerity, senior officials gathered, warm company, from the port to the hotel, the saluted army escort, Li Hongzhong went to a school of gongs and drums, firecrackers, the United States government arrangement, Li Hongzhong lived in New York's most luxurious, the Waldorf Astoria Hotel, facing the high-rise bright lights of the United States, Li Hongzhong's heart has long been mixed feelings, in the later interview with the reporter, Li Hongzhong admitted that he was attracted by the tall buildings of the United States, everything made him happy, at this time Lao Li was not only deeply shocked, but also feel sad and weak, even a little hopeless, since the beginning of the 1860s, that is, after the end of the Civil War this period, known as the United States Gilded Age, in other words, until Li Hongzhong's visit to the United States, the level of productivity of the United States has surpassed the old European powers and made many industrial achievements that shocked the world. In terms of steel and coal production and oil exploitation, the United States has comprehensively surpassed the United Kingdom and a number of industrial output has reached the first in the world. In terms of invention patents, typewriters, phonographers and projectors belong to the products of that era. Edison and his team created the first industrial research laboratory, invented the high-efficiency incandescent light bulb alkaline battery. By the end of the 19th century, the United States had 800,000 telephones in operation, and at this time, the telephone was only a rare toy of the nobility in the Qing dynasty, another change in the American way of life, is the means of transportation, with the popularization of the streetcar, many white people chose to move to the suburbs and take the tram to the city to work and shop, a lifestyle that has continued to this day. Upon returning to China, Li Hongzhong was disheartened by the numbness of the ruler still indulging in dreams of wealth and power, and he died a few short years later.